Uh, to finish off, I'm going to use the counter bore and plug. It's how I start. It's also how I finished. On this deck in particular, what I've done is to counter bore and sink all the edge boards. So it's simply a counter bore tool. I come in from the edge. I repeat that process. Insert the screw. And I do the end as well. Spot where the centre of the joist is. This one here is running off at an angle. So that's the counterbore tool, sets the depth. Sometimes you may let a little black ring around the top, it will sand off. And that's as easy as using the counterbore and plug tool. So this is the wood plug kit, it actually comes with the plug and the counterbore tool, it sets a diameter. Now the plugs simply fit into place, there is a chamfered side down, they will sit proud. And there we'll just trim the tops of them off and that gives you your fully sanded timber surface. This is the fine oscillating tool. It has a flat blade on the underside and it's perfect for cutting the plugs off. Uh, with timber decking we've always got to start somewhere. So what we do is with our timber decking we actually, uh, you can choose to bring a board up underneath. If so, we're going to cut the outside off, counter lever it over and how we start our fastening is we counter bore using a tool like this. We then put a screw down on the bottom of it and a wooden plug. Now all these part of the deck max system. What this does, it then allows us to continue with the biscuit fixing. I'm going to demonstrate the application of this for you now. With a cordless drill, I'm simply going to engage that. It has an exact set depth to marry to the plug, and the pilot hole will go all the way through out of frame. What is preparation of the hole is what we call a counterbore tool. The counterbore tool simply fits into your, into your cordless drill or electric drill. It actually sets the exact depth to suit the plug and also the exact diameter. All I do is set a distance to come in. What you'll notice is the ring on the top stops spinning once you've hit the depth. The next thing I do, I simply insert the screw in the bottom of the hole. Because the plugs are tapered, so the, there's only one way the plug can go in. Tap it in. Finished. What I do now is just come through and cut that off. Now, one of the tasks of cutting a plug off is one of the challenges we have. There's a tool we recommend is the Multimaster Fine Tool or Fiend. It's actually what we call an oscillating tool. That won't cut you. You watch what it does when we cut timber. leaves a perfect finish in a matter of seconds. 
Okay, as you can see, we're now doing the risers, which is actually going to be a planter box. But this is how we use the uh, what we call the butt joiner. We actually prepare the cut in the board. The cut in the board is prepared with a biscuit cutter. This is the little biscuit you'll see in the kit. You cut it to a little bit over uh, 12 mil, so you cut it about 16 mil deep. The biscuit fits in the middle, and the second board comes in and joins it. And then what your best practice to do is to loose fit it all, just before you fit it off, and you end up with, see how I mark the chalk mark? Now the chalk mark is the best way to line them up. That's what you use to guide the biscuit cutter in, so both sides are exactly the same. Then I'm going to loose fit it all. As you can see, I'm just going to loose fit the top, so I clamp it all in place, make sure it's all perfect, then clamp it, and then I'll counter bore and fix as a top rail to the planter. This is also exactly the same way as we do a framing board, a picture framing board for a deck. This way to do the plugs is to cut your glue open, get some on the bottom only, insert and tap down, tap with the light hammer, you get a tiny bit circling around the side and that'll give you the perfect plug. Sometimes the tension is you can actually change the depth of the hole on the cutter as well, but I, I prefer to leave it about 2 mil proud, so you can adjust the collar of that cutter. Just remember that the plugs are cut so they're tapered. There is a top and there is a bottom. The bottom has a chamfered edge, the top is flat. So all I'm going to do is get some glue, put it on the bottom like that, insert it, tap. We're just going to cut the tops of the plugs off. You've seen this tool before, it's the fine tool. It has an oscillating blade, it's perfect for doing it.